I've got a few things to show you tonight. It's kind of neat. Um, I went to an event this week in, well, it's Thursday to Monday, which was fabulous. Seeing my friends from Savannah and, I mean, I know we're in this whole weird time of life, you know, do we do or do we don't? And I'll tell you the truth. It was, it just did my heart and soul so good to see them and be with them and you know, just, it's like family. We just kind of just mesh, all of us. And I love it. I love it. I'm truly blessed. So, but I'll show you what I do have. And here we come. Oh, I love those ladies too, Hopper. They are just wonderful. So this is adorable. It's a little three by three from uh, my sweet friend Cricket, um, who organizes our events and she does such a great job. I mean, a great job. And it looks effortless, y'all, because when I try to organize something, oh no, mm -mm, no, I'm like, mm -mm. but she does, she does a great job. I'm sure it's not effortless, but it, she sure makes it look easy. So this is her card and I love it. I love it. The, um, this little stamp with the bird and we're probably not going to be able to sell this stamp because there was a little problem with manufacturing on this stamp and they may correct it during the year. I don't know, but it's going to be in the new catalog, but probably not orderable. This is another one. This is from my friend Vicki. And um, now Christina is on my team and Vicki is on my Leeds team. And, um, Anyway, we're all friends, but um, but Lucia Gammon did this one, and she is my fearless leader with Stampin' Up. And I'm Christina's fearless leader with Stampin' Up. So we had two and two. Anyway, so this this is, see how pretty that is? I love it. It's all the same stamp, the same stamp set. Okay, so I cannot show you the inside yet, but some of you already have this catalog. I can't open it yet, but I can on May the 4th, okay? I think it's the 4th, um, May 4th, yes. So I'll be able to show y'all that later. But I can show you what I got out of it. And this week, I'm going to share with you this suite, which, um, you know, they named the suites different things. I don't know. But I'll show you the, the cardstock. I mean, the the designer series paper it's called hand pinned designer series paper and i've been cutting on it all weekend so y'all might see a couple of pieces fall out and uh these in color jewels this is just separate i just bought those extra and the, it's called genial gems these go with this suite and here are my inks turn this way there's um Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya. And this is the stamp set, hand pin petals. Aren't they beautiful? We were able to pre-order as demonstrators, and yeah, this is this is what I had to get. Um, but I was going to tell you something I forgot. Uh, oh, Mother's Day. Okay, so during our Zoom on, on stage... Um, we were put into little rooms, okay, like five or six times, kind of too many times. But anyway, um, so one of the people on um, one of the little rooms I was in for a little while, she made a great suggestion because she, her mother has passed. And, and a lot of women my age, their mothers have passed. And it's very sad. But, and you know, we kind of don't even like Mother's Day things, right? But um, she is sending out 100 uh, 100 Mother's Day cards to just mothers, just people she knows that have kids. And she's taking a bunch of them to her church. She does it every year. And I'm like, when I grow up, I want to be like that. So maybe I'll make maybe 40 or 50 this year. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll probably hand them out to people that have never had children. They'll be like, what is this about? You know, because it's me, y'all. Right? Right? I won't get it. Um, okay, so we're going to make... Oh, and I've got my... um. I've got my in color paper. Y'all please hold. You know where I'm getting it from? I'm getting it from my luggage. I have yet to empty. Um, but this is the in color paper. 
and it's really pretty. And this is that uh, Evening Evergreen, I think it's called. Okay, that's the Evening Evergreen. So that's Evening Evergreen, and this one is the Polished Pink. I really like this pink, y'all. I really like this pink. And this one is the, this is Soft Succulent here, and a, kind of a Lavender Fresh Freesia. And this one is Pale Papaya. And, um, okay, so these are the, these are the, things we're going to be a using and y'all I haven't unpacked everything I'm kind of a slouch today but we're going to get through this y'all wait till you see how beautiful these cards are I had an order for um, a company that needed some cards for an event and I whipped those up while I was at my um, while I was at my retreat and I mean, they are beautiful, beautiful, but I mailed them today, you know, in, a, in one big envelope. So I cut that, you know, one whole sheet in half at five and a half. And now I'm going to four and a quarter because I'm going to be making my little panels. So, you know, I don't even need to do that one. But okay, we're not going to cut. We are going to score. And there's, this is my score blade and that's my cutting blade. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it along. And boom, there we go. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey, look at that. Okay, so yeah, I can use one of these for pieces. I'm going to show y'all this paper. It is so pretty. This is one side, and that's the back side. Okay, so that's how I'm going to show you. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just, my goodness, it's beautiful. And it's, it's even prettier in person. This one, and that's the back side right there. Isn't that just beautiful? This first card we're going to make, y'all, it just zooms right by. It just, it goes so fast. Now this one, this is its back, back side, okay? I've been playing with this. Then we have this one, and that's the back of it, okay? This is beautiful, and I, the lighting may not be great. I think i got to buy a light, y'all. And then this one, and here's its background its back side right there. Y'all see, I've been using it. I made a real pretty envelope with that. And then this and, oops, I didn't get that one turned. There we go. This reminds me of some paper we had back in the day, but, um, but it's super pretty. It's very pretty. All right, so we are going to make this fit the front of our card. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? So this way I want, let's see now, I'm going to want this to be, I wanna have one inch, one inch, I'm gonna take an inch off. I've got my little measurement right here. So here's an inch, right? That's gonna be our um, contrast design. Okay, and then this one, let's see, four and a quarter, I want this to be four inches, and then the, the other part is five and a half. So I'm gonna go four by five and a quarter. Right there. Y'all can probably hear my dogs. They're going crazy because it's dinner time and they act like they've never eaten ever. Y'all, the memories and more, I actually have it, but it's packed. And I did not unpack it for this because it's not actually in the suite but you can make tons of stuff with it, okay? All right, uh, you do buy it separately. Now, y'all are gonna, gonna be like, what? It was that simple to make a card. We're gonna use this. We're gonna put our bone folder. Yes, it's pretty, it would be pretty wallpaper, wouldn't it? And now see this, oh, I need to cut that a little bit more. Please hold. Oh, I didn't show y'all this. Look how cute. One of my friends brought me this. Her name is Vicki. And I love it. And it looks like that monkey and that monkey. Those are my monkeys. Those are my babies, my little babies. And I love them dearly. But yes, so she brought me this and it was so sweet and it's got a real fuzzy back. I love it. Probably going to keep my um, headphone stuff in it. Okay, so I really do need this to be shorter because... Let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to three and a half, I think. So I'm just using my little guillotine cutter just to get that off real quick. 
So now we have, you know, it's going to sit like this. And there is top and a bottom. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it's going to be in my suite. Oh, yeah, right? Right? I know. I had to have this the minute I saw it. I was like, mm, yeah, I need that. Okay, so this one I'm just going, I, I could measure. And I know I measured. I should have cut them all together. But, you know, you know. Sometimes, you know, the people teaching the thing don't get it all right, right? Okay. So here we go. So now I'm going to put this like this. I'm going to put this right here. And we are just going to glue that down, y'all. Look at that. We're just going to glue it down. But um, our own stage was pretty awesome. We had, when you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, you, you can... Uh, you have an option to join in on one of these events. And if you want, you know, um, what do they call it? Not bling, but um, merchandise, you know. If you want that kind of stuff, you, you can sign up for it. And they charge, and you pay for it, and that's what I did. And I got a catalog, and I got a little, um, I think we got a bag. I really don't remember, y'all. I don't remember. All right, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Lay that guy down first, okay? And then we're going to come back with this guy. And, yeah, put him down. Now, I'm going to look here and here at the at the fold on the card to make sure it's where I want it to be. And I'm going to make sure that the, the edges of this right here are even, okay? Dana, we're expecting three to six inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. You know what? I'm, I have heard, where are you, Dana? Because I have been hearing people, I have a friend in um, Iowa, Idaho, Indiana, somewhere it starts with an I, I don't know. Um, and she's talking about it snowing there. I mean, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So, y'all, this card can go like this, or it can go this way, either way, okay? And you can buy ribbon, you can buy, you know, different things to go with it. I've got the bling. Where'd I put the bling? Hang on, I got I got I went a little crazy over here, y'all. I got my bling right here. Here we go. And uh Buffalo, New York. Oh, Marilyn has flurries there. I know she's in DC. My goodness, y'all. We're gonna use the um the little green ones and we're gonna put one there. Now see they're they're two different sizes. They're um Angela Snow, if only, right? We got a little bigger size here and a little smaller size there, but I'm going to use all the big ones, all the big ones, because I think this card can support three of the, come on now, stop it. Three of these little dots right here. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get it out of my hand. There we go. All right. And right here, y'all, this is just so stinking pretty, but we're not finished. We're not. Um... Yes, this will be the first set I buy from New Catalog 2. Right, right. And uh, Nyoka, I think we're stuck in 2020 weather. Oh, yeah, that and a few other things, right? Western Mountain, Maryland. Ah, yes. I didn't know you were in... I, I had you in D.C. Maryland. That's right. Sorry, Maryland. Maryland from Maryland. See, it shouldn't be that hard ship for me, should it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So now we are going to get a piece of white card stock and we are going to do a little stamping. We're just going to say, um, feel better friend. How about that? We're going to say feel better friend. And that is going to be, uh, right here. Feel better friend. And you could just not put the friend on there. Like if it's a generic card, like, like I'll be making for our church. We, we have a list y'all. A list of people that need cards from church and um, that's on my agenda this week to make all those cards so I could just put feel better you know but the font is so pretty now let's see what color ink we want um you know what I think we're gonna do the soft succulent which y'all I'll be honest um, Oh, hey, Michelle, I'm so glad you're here. I'll be honest, y'all, I don't like plants that are called succulents because they look they look too much like cactus and, you know, 
all that. But now an aloe, I like an aloe because I don't know why. Um, I guess because I used to have one. But I like this color. I do like this color. Now, y'all, I'm going to put a little pad under my stamping because, you know, this doesn't have any pad, right? I'm just going to, can you see this? Yeah. Okay, now see? Feel better, friend. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so now we got that stamped. See how quick and easy? And we're going to use, where did it go? We're going to use our uh, little ovals. Maybe. Wait, these might be too big. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we can do this. Mm, no, that's too big. Oh, I'll show you something cool. I'm going to show y'all. I've shown y'all before, but I'm going to show you again. Um, or should we just, let me just do round circles because that would be, that would be a lot faster. I'll just do this because I still want to show y'all some stuff. Okay, so we're just going to do that and then we're going to put a bigger one around it. Okay, so there we go. All right, and we've got white because the background of this paper is white. Sometimes it will be, um, it's going to be the very vanilla, but this time it's white. Now, I did take out my Big Shot. I was thinking of that to, because I packed it and took it with me. Um, Nyoka, do these little ink spots come in a bundle or do you order separately? Good question, Nyoka. These come as blank, un, uninked, I think they're called uninked ink ink. <laughs> uninked ink pads or ink spots, okay? And what I did, I bought the refills like this, and um, a couple of friends had told me to try this because that's what they do with the end colors. So you don't have so much time, money, and space invested in an ink that's only going to be around for two years. That's how long our end colors are here with us. Two years. And I'm trying it. Um, now, do I like those itty bitty ink pads? They're okay right now. I kind of like having the bigger ones, but I think, I think I'm going to like doing this. I really do. Dana, I buy the designer paper, but hate using it. It's so pretty. I agree. I have hoarded some designer series paper and it's, I mean, I'm still, I still don't want to cut it, but the best thing to do is to cut it up, right? Y'all, I got to get in the position here. Oh, I've got my, oh, see, I told y'all I'd just unpack this thing. I had an extra plate. It's never going to go under, under with all that on there. Okay, here we go. All right, so we are just going to take this off. Boop. How cute is this little feel better, friend? Isn't that sweet? Now, while we got the big shot out, we are going to get a bigger circle to put behind our little thing. Let me see. Ooh, it's probably, oh boy, it is just, just right if I do it, <laughs> if I do it perfect, y'all. We'll see. I think I can do it. I do. I'm going to tape it this way. And just tape that bad boy down and see what happens, y'all. Oh, I hope I do it right. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. If not, we can do it again. But let's hope I don't have to. Hey, Lindell. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Nyoka, I have hoarded Graphic 45 because once it's gone, oh, tell me about it. I've got some over here in what I call my Tim Holtz cabinet. Yeah, and I don't even want to use it for the projects I bought it for. I just want to keep it. So we did good. We did good, y'all. Got a perfect little circle out of that little piece of mid, not midnight, um, whatever it said, evening evergreen, okay? And what I did, I used two, let go of that, okay. I used two circle dies, and I've got a big one and a little one like this, okay? All right, so we'll put this guy back up for now. 
we may or may not use him again tonight. I don't think we will. And we're just going to put this down in here. And, you know, I could run this through a an embossing folder. There's a lot of things I can do. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to put this on here, Feel Better Friend, and see where we want to put. You know, it'd be real pretty with some ribbon, but I haven't bought the, the ribbon to go with this yet. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to put it like this. And there we go. Now that is a super simple card. We just have, you know, one piece of designer series paper that we cut down with the back side here, the front side there, two um, circle dies, a stamp, and three of these. Boom. All right. So now I'm going to show you another one. This one um, in the hand pinned petals. All right, we are going to use, are we going to use this? Yeah, we're going to use this. And let me see if it'll fit here. Ah, look at that. It fits. It fits. Let me find their dies before I go crazy. Okay, these are the dies. We're going to use these. Um, use a paper strip. A pa oh, oh, yes, to go up under the, the little, yes, that would have been a great idea. Just a strip of paper. Yes. If I hadn't already glued it down, I'd take it and do it. That is a great idea. All right, so now I need a block. I'm going to use this block here and pick up this guy. I've already used him on the, um, on the retreat I went to. I used it. So I don't have to clean this stamp. And thank goodness I put my black ink back up. Um... Let's see. Thank you, Teresa Lindell. All I have is inks, pen, and paper. Lindell, we got to work on that, girl. We got to work on that and get you some supplies. Right? Okay, so I'm going to ink this up. Now, the best the best of the best ideas here would be to use my Stamparatus, but it's too late. I'm already going this way. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go great, we'll back up and what we used to say is back up and punt, right? Okay, there we go. It's supposed to look hand-drawn, and it does. It looks very pretty. And if you look at the, um, the package, you see, it looks just like it's supposed to. I'm always happy about that. Okay, so we are going to take this guy, and we're going to use one of the aqua painters, which um, we have different ones now, but all it is, it's got a little tube of water in here. And I'm just going to take some ink like this and just tap it on here. And we're not trying to get a whole lot of ink or water or anything. We're just, I'm just like doing this, okay? Just doing that. Um, I'm going to zoom in. And we never know if I'll be able to zoom back out. We never know, do we? We just never know. All right, so I'm just going to hit these real quick with just some ink. I don't want to go crazy because, um, first of all, my little ink pad here, I don't want it full of water, right? So I'm just kind of like saying, okay, these, these, are, these are leaves. And, y'all, I don't even... Um, like, I'm not an artist, okay? My daughter, if y'all want to see an artist, that would be my daughter. She, she's a bona fide, real live artist. I just think it's pretty, and I've probably seen it somewhere. So that's why I do it. And I want to tell y'all, too, now. I was going to tell y'all, um, let's see, Nyoka says, I love it. Thank you. Marilyn, gorgeous. Thank you. Dana, just ordered my catalogs today. Can't wait for them to come in. Yay! Um, Lisa, I use alcohol. It dries faster. Yes, it does. It does. And you don't, you don't want to get crazy with your water on paper that is not watercolor because paper that is, uh, just regular cardstock is, it can't handle a lot of water. Okay. Um, yeah, Dana, um, I, my catalogs came in last week and I was just like, yay. And I immediately ran one over to my friend, Teresa. Well, immediately, as in, it took me two days, but I got it to her. Okay, so now, I haven't done this before, y'all, but we're going to see how well I do, okay? 
Um, but yeah, if you use alcohol, it will dry faster. And um, there we go. We're just kind of we're just kind of throwing some color down, okay? Just like this, and soften it up a little bit if we need to. I'm not squeezing this pen. I'm not doing anything to make a lot of water come out. It's just in the tip of the brush, and and it works like this, okay? Now that that right there, I wish I'd done the whole thing that way. That's pretty. That's pretty right there. I don't care who you are. That right there is pretty. <laughs> okay, so we got that that flower done. And this is what I was talking about is so pretty, that little petal there. Um, Dana, pick up the ink from a block. Yes, I'll show you how you can do that. I'll show you how you can do that. And then you don't mess with your, um, let's do it with the purple. You don't mess with your actual ink pad. Yeah, good idea, Dana. So we'll do this. You can put your ink on the block just like that. You see, it looks like it's washing it out, doesn't it? It, does, it can, oh, let's see. Teresa, you're the best. Thank you. Nyoka, I can't wait to order. Hubby asked what I wanted for my birthday. I said, enough money to order what I want for my stamp catalog. He said, go for it. I said, well, it's a bunch. He said, doesn't matter if that's what you want. Is he not the bomb? So look out, Kathy, for a big order. Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, hey, Heather. Um, Kathy Bo, the Bob Ross of Cross crafting you know it you know it um yeah nyoka heck yeah all right so you're just gonna dab your ink um when you're using the block oh when you're using the block like that this one's going on a little heavier i probably got too much but that's okay i'm just doing these these little flowers here okay and y'all it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a line drawing kind of thing the artist that actually came up with these that's that's what she intended or he but I'm gonna go with her okay and you'll see how I got two different two different shades of the um fresh freesia fresh freesia um humble too oh oh you know it right you know <laughs> two different shades of the fresh freesia because I put it on heavy here and then light there okay so then we now we need we're gonna clean off our brush. There it goes. Now we need um the I think I'm gonna do pale papaya. I do, I do. And y'all are seeing these colors for the first time. Now in this what I'm doing here, oh dear, that was so close. What I'm doing here, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just punched it out of their um of the let me get that out just a little. Oh, dear. Y'all knew I was going to do that. You knew it. Okay. I got this from the cardstock, and then I wrote down on it. And I got Pale Papaya 21 through 23. That's how, how long this um, this ink is going to be in the ink colors. All right. So I'm going to pick up some of this and just kind of go yada, yada, yada. You know, the Bob Ross song. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, it's not really. Don't go telling people that I sang the Bob Ross song because I don't even know that he has a song or had a song. I don't even know, y'all. I don't know. All right, but here we go. Oh, and I was going to tell y'all, you know, I say every week now, something I learned this week, okay? Y'all, you're going to believe. I would say you won't believe it, but you will. So we went to visit my son and his family in uh, Statesboro. Did I even tell y'all? Um, Nyoka, how many of you guys know that our Kathy Bow is a freelance writer? Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, I'm a writer. Been a writer for about 30-something years. And my sweet friend Angela, who's on here tonight, she's the bomb diggity editor and writer. I mean, y'all. Yes. But yes, thank you, Nyoka. I, I am, and I'm probably going to be taking on some other columns here shortly. Okay, I'm going to use this, um, let's see, Marilyn New, Heather New, Teresa New, Marilyn, we must learn something every day. Yes, so I don't know if I told y'all this. I don't think I did, but we went to visit our son. I, did, I know I told y'all that in Statesboro, right? And y'all, I grabbed a pair of flip-flops out of my closet and packed them. Now, y'all got to understand, these are Clark's. 
and I don't buy expensive shoes. I should, I know, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I would have bought them for my kids if they needed them, you know, expensive shoes or whatever, but no. I, anyway, well, I've started buying more expensive shoes, but anyway, so these are Clarks, and to me, that's expensive, okay? Um, probably $36 for a pair of flip-flops, and I could be wrong. I, I could have made that up. I don't know. Anyway, it's more than I normally would pay for flip-flops, but y'all, they are so comfortable, so I love them. So I beat up a pair because I wore them all the time for a couple of summers, and then I was like, hey, hey, I need more. So I went to Belk, which everybody knows what Belk is, right? It's, it's a department store, and I bought another pair. Guess what? Just like the other pair... Oh, hey, Barb. My sister Barbara's here. Lisa, I knew she's... Oh, y'all are so sweet. My goodness. So I bought an extra pair, and they're identical to the ones I had because I needed kind of a pair of dress flip-flops. You know what I mean? So um, $55 here. That's probably what they cost. I don't even know. It's been a couple of years, but I keep one pair to be, you know, really nice, and then the other pair is just whatever. Well, y'all, and actually I'm going to need this back, so, um, y'all, I grabbed a pair of my flip-flops, you know, I have the two, two pair, and just packed them. I was in a hurry, I have not worn them yet this season, right, so we go to, we go to Statesboro, I get my flip-flops out of the, um, y'all know where this is going, I get my flip-flops out of the so suitcase, I got two right feet. Two. I got one old pair of flip-flops and one, new, not old pair, one old flip-flop and one new one. And I'm like, seriously? So that wasn't enough, y'all. I had to put the right one, the other right one on my left foot just to see if I can get away with it. No. <laughs> no. You can't get away with wearing a left, a right shoe on your left foot. Don't try it. Okay, so now I'm getting some leaves out. Y'all just hang on. This is going to be real pretty. Real pretty. And we, we got we got enough time here. I'm zipping along. Okay, okay. So please hold. i got to get this guy back. Oh, and that's my left arm, y'all. The one with the wacky shoulder. Um, Marilyn, good try. Right? Good try. I mean, seriously. I was like, maybe, maybe I can make this work. Maybe. But No. And then my sweet son, he's like, Mom, I'll go buy you another pair. And I said, no, no, not unless it's Christmas. You know, I mean, those things are expensive. And I'm not a high-maintenance girl. I'm really not. Um, and I was fine with my tennis shoes. I'm sorry. I'm over here trying to put these things on. Um, Teresa Mason does it all the time. He wears them wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lindell, have to go. We'll watch replay later. Have fun. Love you, Kathy. I didn't know that talent abounds. <laughs> Thank you, Lindell. I'm so glad you were able to come by. Take care. Okay, y'all. So, here we go. We're going to lay this on here. We're going to get leaves. Leaves, y'all. Leaves. Now, my sister Barbara that's on here, we are meeting for lunch on Tuesday. And y'all know what? I told Ninja Man. So, he got on the uh, internet the interwebs, and he started researching the little restaurant we're going to, and he found out where everything is. He knows all the stuff. He looked up the carbs for me. I mean, he's got it all figured out. Let's see. We wanted to do those little, these little round things. Hold on. Yes, I've got a big shot in my lap. Please hold. All right, go there. Let's put you up here. Y'all, I make a mess. I make a mess. Um... Marilyn, God bless you, Lindell. Yes, God bless you, Lindell. Okay, and maybe I'll do it in green. I don't know, but I really want to do it in black just to see what happens. I mean, we don't know. Nothing's really going to happen, happen. But we're just going to cut these little guys out in black. That's what we're doing. And where's my other? Here it is. I'll tell y'all what. These big shots, they, they're just they're kind of amazing. They do all the things, you know? They do. And, of course, the ones you can get from Stampin' Up! now are called the Stampin' Cut and Embossing Machine, which is really cool. Okay, we got them. Let's stick those back in there. 
Y'all, these are so tiny. I've got a magnetic bowl over here, but you see I'm not using it, but I should be. It's, um, got it at Harbor Freight. I think I showed y'all before. Got it at Harbor Freight, and, um, we, um, we use it instead of, like, for automotive stuff. We use it for our, our, um, dies, right? Okay, I'm just curious if we were to kind of like that in a bigger one, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. All right, please hope we're going to do one more. One more. And this is very similar to the one that I did um, for the company that I told you I had an order for. This card is very similar. It's not exact. It's not. We're not, we're not those kind of people. We don't, you know, we're not doing that. All right, let's see. Maybe, oh, that would be pretty. All right, we're going to use this and... I'm not going to go with all the measuring. I'm just trying to get this card made so that, you know, we're not on here till, you know, till death do us part. Okay, here we go. Boop, 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 and boop. All right? You don't have to get, you don't have to do all kinds of, uh, let's see. Nyoka, my big shop broke and I had to get the Stampin' Up one. How do you like it, Nyoka? Because I haven't bought it because, you know, I got this. And I'm just sitting here going, I don't think I need two of them. But, you know. I've actually got one that will take a um, eight and a half by eleven over there, and I really like it. But then this one, it's you know, it's seen its really good days. Oh, hey, Natalie! I'm so happy you said hi. I hope you're doing well. Natalie is the sweetest little girl, y'all, and she can make cookies and she looks out for others and she is smart as a whip i'm just loving watching her grow all right here we go here we go all right let's see now okay y'all we got the magic's about to happen do you see do you see how we're gonna maybe oh i kind of like that i don't know let's see see what y'all think okay so we're gonna use this and um, since we already used this paper, I think I'm going to cut it down. All right, we are going to go to, um, the card is four and a quarter. So we're going to go four inches. This is for the front of the card. And by five and a half, we're going to do five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. So then when you lay it on the card, it's, um, you know, it's the right size. Okay. Nyoka, I like it. I like that it's so stable with the wings out. Oh, yes, yes. The little, um, what Nyoka's talking about is the big guy that looks like this. Mine's the baby. And Nyoka, I put, um, measurements on it, on the little one, so that I would know, you know, what, and really, I could have used it probably for this whole project tonight, but I wasn't even sure I had unpacked it. But then I turned around and poof, there it was. Like, whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Right? I don't think they said there it is. I think they said day it is. I have no idea. I have no, they didn't call me before they made that music, before they made that song. They haven't called me since. I'm just like, I don't even know. Don't even know. Oh, come on. Here we go. We have a situation, y'all. I have not unpacked all of my tape. Okay, but you know what? Hey. There's an answer for everything. I'm going to finish it off with this glue. And that's fine. You can do that. The glues can meet each other in the middle. Now, I'm making sure of which way my card opens. Not that it really matters right now. Come on. Heavens. It was just not working out, was it? Okay, here we go. And this is the second and final card we're going to make tonight. And I could bump this up. There's a lot I could do. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Put a little glue right here. Put it in the middle. We're going to put the flowers like this. Here we go. Um, we're going to have to tuck some little things down in. So I'm not putting glue all the way around. Okay. See where we're going? See where we're doing here? Let's see. Nyoka. Okay. Hopper. Answers ten dollars. 
answer is $10. I, I know that was something I was saying a minute ago. I'm sorry, I'm just now seeing it. Um, I don't like these, y'all. I don't like those, so nope, we're not doing it. Okay, we're going to leave it just like that. We are going to use these. These little, I got bum, 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 scary dental tool. Um, but this is not my favorite scary dental tool, so that's why it didn't get a music um, introduction earlier. It's not my favorite one. It's the one that I took with me that I unpacked. My favorite one is over there, but, you know, we got to give some others some fun, some uh, celebrity time, right? Can't let the same ones get all the attention. We got to share. Okay, there we go. All right, now, get off of there. Rude. Okay, so this is why I did not glue down all the flowers yet, because I'm going to figure out where I want my leaves. Um, Angela, this card would be perfect for a tea party invite. So feminine, isn't it? It's beautiful. And I love that because um, the company that I made cards for, they actually needed it for women. And, of course, you know, this is very similar to it, not not exact, and I didn't even take pictures. I was just eager to get them in the mail and get them gone because they needed them for next week. And you know, we don't we don't want to take extra time. So there we've got some, and you could, y'all, you could use vellum sheets for these uh, leaves. It'd be so pretty. I mean, there's y'all. You could step this card up so much, and I mean, as quick as it was to to paint these flowers. I mean, really, you know, just took a minute. Didn't take long at all. Let's see. I'm going to try this and see if I like it. I hope I like it. There we go. And we had one more, and he's right here, and I think we could put him. Ooh, I think I want to put him right here. Yeah. That's what I want to do, y'all. Put him right there. He just needs a wee bit of ink. Just a wee bit. Not a lot. There we go. And you just kind of stick him under the... Now, here's what we do. We just go oops and oops and, and put the glue down right there. Hold it for just a sec. And then we're going to go up and get... I said stick down. Oh, I see the problem. You don't have any glue under you. It's hard to make them stick when they don't have any glue, isn't it? I mean, that's not a pro tip. I'm just saying. Okay, yeah. So the thing I learned this week was um, you can't wear two right shoes on a left foot and a right foot. You can't. And even though, even though you're stubborn and you're like, I got to make this work because I really needed this to go with this perfect, I mean, not perfect. I needed this to go with this particular, um, thing that I brought to wear, you know, out to dinner. I didn't want to wear my clunky tennis shoes that could really use a bath. Um, yeah. So then we would put our little sentiment. I could just go ahead and, and stamp all oh, this. This could go bad. This, this can go bad. Y'all let's see. We're going to see. And meanwhile, don't forget the April host code right here, y'all. It is GCSNWSMD. You can take a screenshot and you can see it right there in the corner. And if you order from me, um, be sure and go over and look at the um, clearance rack. There we go. There we go, y'all. We got the little feel better friend on this one. And it pretty? And it, it really was not difficult at all. It was just so simple. Uh, let's see. I showed you my swaps. And I think that's pretty much pretty much all I got tonight, y'all. Um, don't forget that um, I have a YouTube channel. And um, Nyoka, Things We Learned While Crafting. There's your book title, Kathy. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with all your friends, and don't forget, I've got a crafting show on Thursdays at 1 p.m., and I'm, uh, I'm very eager to show y'all some new stuff uh, Thursday. Last Thursday was super short because I was literally getting in the car uh, to, to leave. Oh, thank you, Nyoka. Thank you. Yay, Dana said goodnight. Marilyn said goodnight. Heather said good night. Michelle, everybody's saying good night. Thank you. Teresa, 
Good night, ladies, he says. Okay, y'all, thank you for joining in. We'll see you at 1 o'clock on Thursday. If not, I'll see you next Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. Please share and do all the things, all right? Love y'all. Thanks and God bless. Toodles.